Whenever a new region is released, the traveller is also able to resonate with that region's element to obtain new abilities. As such, the question on everyone's minds, especially for free-to-play players, is which traveller element is the best and most viable? Is it Animal, Geo, Electro, Dendro or Hydro? The results might actually surprise you. To start off, let me first explain the best sets and teams for each traveller element as well as how to use them. Do note that as some general rules, the Traveller is always preferably used as a support as their scalings are not amazing, so you can't really expect to do much damage with them. Before I continue, can I just say a huge thank you to all my fellow coins for helping us to reach 2600 subscribers. I really am so appreciative of everyone here. If you haven't subscribed, do consider subscribing as I post regular Genshin Impact videos and you can also help us to get to our goal of 10,000 subscribers. Thank you so much in advance. Without further ado, my name is ChargeCoin and let's begin the video. For the Animal Traveller, she works best as an Elemental Resistance Shredder. For example, she can work well with characters such as Linny and Ayaka to reduce the Pyro and Cryo Resistance respectively with her Elemental skill, so that your DPS characters can deal more damage with the Elemental Resistance Shred from the Viridescent Venera Artifact. Remember to also use the Traveler's Burst as at C6, she can further reduce the elemental resistance of the element Sword. <laughs> to make this team work, I use the Sacrificial Sword on the Traveler so that she can get her burst back up faster and use the Veridicent Venera Artifact set on her so that she can shred the elemental resistance of enemies with her skill. For the Geo Traveller, although she can deal some damage with her skill and burst, I recommend going for a support build. As such, pairing her with another Geo character that can provide shields such as Songli and Noel can give the Geo resonance, which will increase the damage done by your DPS characters when protected by a shield. For a weapon, I'm once again using the Sacrificial Sword so that she can get her burst back up faster and using the Noblesse Oblige artifact set so that she can provide an attack buff to party members after using her elemental burst. For the Electro Traveller, her main quirk is that she can help generate energy for the team similar to how the Raiden Shogun functions through her elemental skill and burst. As such, pairing her with energy hungry teams or teams that rely on their burst such as the National Team can prove beneficial as a substitute for Raiden to help recharge the team's burst and hence deal more damage overall. For a weapon, I'm using the Sacrificial Sword for the energy recharge to boost the energy that she can provide for a team and to get her burst back up faster. For artifact set, I'm using the Emblem of Severed Fate for more energy recharge and a slightly stronger burst based on a higher ER. For the Dendro Traveller, her main purpose is as an off-field Dendro Burst support with her Elemental Burst. This allows her to easily apply Dendro off-field and pairing her with characters such as Nilo, Xingqiu or Kuki can allow them to apply the different elements for different Dendro related reactions. I'm using the Dendro Traveller also with the Sacrificial Sword so that she can get her burst up quicker. For artifacts, I'm using the Deep Wood Memories to provide the Dendro Resistance threat so that the Dendro reactions created by teammates can be a lot stronger. For the current last available element as of the Fontaine patch, we have the Hydro Traveller. I have tried multiple builds with the Hydro Traveller, such as acting as the Hydro Driver in the national team for Xiangling to reverse vaporize, but unfortunately, the Hydro application is lacking. As such, instead, I reverted back to Hyper Bloom team. Instead of using Sing Chiu to provide the Hydro application, the Traveller becomes the on field Hydro applicator to generate the blooms required for Cookie to create Hyper Blooms with. For weapon, I'm also using the Sacrificial Sword so that she can get a chance to bypass her elemental skill cooldown and use her skill again for more Hydro application and generate more blooms. 
For Artifact Set, I'm just using the Deep Mood Memories so that she can provide the Dendro Resistance threat for the Hyper Bloom reaction. Now that we have covered how to use all of the Traveller elements, which is the best? Coming in at number 5, we have the Hydro Traveller. While she can help to create Dendro reactions, she doesn't really provide as much Hydro application as we would like, and the fact that she stands still while using a burst means that she can be interrupted a lot more easily. At number 4, we have the Geo Traveller. Honestly, there really isn't much use for this Traveller outside of the Noblesse Oblige and Geo Resonance buffs. She can easily be replaced by other better characters such as Albedo. At number 3, we have the Electro Traveller. As there aren't many characters that can help to recharge energy for the team, the Electro Traveller in my opinion can be quite valuable if you don't have Raiden, especially for teams that are energy hungry. At number 2, we have the Animal Traveller. The resistance threat provided by the Traveller is easily applicable and valuable for your team's DPS, and can hence be a very easy alternative if you do not have characters such as Kazuha or Sucrose. Finally, the best travel element at number 1 is the Dendro Traveller. As Dendro reactions scale off Elemental Mastery, Dendro Traveller does not need to rely on the poor scalings to benefit the team. It is easy to provide Elemental Mastery for her through artifacts, or if the Dendro reactions are created by another character such as Kuki, you do not even need Elemental Mastery for the Traveller. Given how easy the Dendro Traveller is to build, and use with the off-field Dendro application, Dendro Traveller is the best Traveller type that especially free-to-play players should be using. With that, we've come to the end of today's video. Which Traveller would you be planning to use? Do let me know down in the comments below. If you enjoyed today's video or found it helpful, do consider subscribing if you haven't as it will really help out this small channel to reach the goal of 10,000 subscribers. Thank you, thank you so much. If you would like to see more on how you can create your own perfect teams, please click the video on the right. If you would like to see my other Genshin Impact videos, please click the playlist on the left. Once again, thank you so much for watching and see you next time. Bye bye!